the world. There's a huge political agenda that's been put on pause uh, whilst we reflect upon and celebrate the life of the late Queen uh, and welcome and wish well to the new King and his family at this difficult time. Uh, not least, however, on that busy and delicate agenda is the question of Northern Ireland, of Brexit and the protocol. The Republic of Ireland's president, Michael D. Higgins, and the Taoiseach, the Irish Prime Minister, uh, Michael Martin, will be among the foreign dignitaries attending the Queen's state funeral tomorrow. Since her death, political leaders from both the Republic of Ireland and indeed from Northern Ireland have been hailing the Queen's efforts to calm divisions. So we've been seeking to reflect that throughout all of our programmes and none better at doing that than uh, Doogie Beatty, who is at Hillsborough Castle uh, again for us today. We were talking about that delicate balance uh, with Cameron uh, uh, earlier about um, the president and the T-shirt being there and whether they are there purely to pay their respects or whether they might just have a quiet word in the sidelines, as it were, with either Liz Truss uh, or the foreign secretary. Your take on that? Well, that's the way it always is, actually. I, I listened to David Starkey, a very learned man, on uh, the day that Sedan's Cathedral was uh, taking place here, the uh, uh, service for the Queen, and he was saying during that time of them waiting for the pre or for the King Charles to arrive, there would have been many conversations had. That is the way politics moves, it breathes that way, and that's what the whole invitation to Sinn Féin has been about. It's been saying to them, look, you need Britain. Let's not forget in 2007 and the financial crash and before that, Britain had to bail out the banks of uh, the Republic of Ireland. They also stood over them and helped them with, I suppose you, you could say, a guarantor for them. And this is something that Sinn Féin are now learning. They're coming to power. They may well be the next um, political power in the Republic of Ireland. And they're having to accept that there's a rubber stamp from the Crown gives you political credibility. But political credibility also brings uh, a political nonsense with it. If you, if you just sit and have a look at that for a moment or two, uh, Boris Johnson lost his political credibility, but he had that much of it. He had huge amounts of it, so it was easy to chip away at and take him down. Sinn Féin you know, have had so many um, very, very public nonsenses, shall we say, funerals for former leaders of the IRA, etc., in the middle of COVID, and not one resignation. Once you start to get that political credibility and start to move, it, it is actually uh, very, very important to keep it there. So as much as they're getting that invite, they're going there, but they're also saying to the public, we accept that the Crown means something. But Alistair, just before I go, an old gaffer of mine from Sligo used to say to me, get in amongst the people. Don't ask questions on tape or on, on a, a, a notepad. Just get in amongst them and talk to them. I have been coming to Hillsborough every day, even on my day off, to just talk to the crowds, get a feeling of what's going on. Just look at this behind me. There is thousands of people streaming through Hillsborough. It's been going on for hours. Going in one gate, back out the other. Yesterday I did a, a piece about the flowers here. and I'll just move out of the way ever so slightly and let you see that. That is what we are really looking at. And anybody that tells me that nationalism is up front and that the monarchy is very much on a down spiral is commenting on social media. They are not in amongst the people. They're not knowing their patch. And if anything, this is the proof of it. Doogie, great stuff. Thank you very, very much indeed. Doogie Beatty there, uh, live uh, outside Hillsborough Castle.